In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to use Google's Keyword Planner for finding local keywords for your Google Ad campaign. This is a great free tool that Google offers and we use it all the time for keyword research before we build a campaign. If you're new here, hi, I'm Kurt from OneBase Media and I'm here to help you get more local customers for your service business. So if you don't wanna miss any videos, join our community and hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified. Okay, let's get right into it. You can find the Keyword Planner tool in your Google Ads account. Just click on the tools and settings on the top bar and from the drop down menu, select Keyword Planner under Planning. You have to select an active account, then click on Discover New Keywords. Now, Keyword Planner gives you two ways to find keywords related to your industry. In Start with the Website option, just put in the link of your competitor's website and it will give you all the keywords related to that website. Now go through the keywords and see which ones you want to get found for. The second way, and this is the one we recommend, is to put in a term that represents a service you provide or your business. So if you're a plumber, put plumber or plumbing. If you're an electrician, put in electrician. Similarly, if you're a roofing company, put in roofers. Start with just a broad term that represents your services. The reason we want a broad term over here is because Google will give us a ton of related keywords. And from that list, we can start filtering out and selecting keywords that closely match our services. So we'll type in plumber for this example and click on get results. This is our keyword planner dashboard. And the first thing we want to do is change our location. Currently, it is showing us the results for the whole of the UK. Now change the location to where your business is based. So if you're providing your plumbing services in London, put in London, or put in Essex if you provide your services in Essex or anywhere else. We're gonna put in London for this example. Secondly, for the date, make sure it's set to the last 12 months. This is because we want all the data from the last year. Now, Google has given us all these keywords that are related to our main keyword, which is plumber. It's generated 544 keywords for us to use, so there's bound to be some keywords that we haven't thought of and that we can use in our ads. Don't worry, we don't have to go through all 544 keywords to find the ones that represent our services. I'll show you how to filter them out in a moment. Now, let's understand the metrics. Besides every keyword, you have the average monthly searches. This shows how many times a particular keyword is being searched in a month. Now, this is really important because we want to select keywords with high search volumes. So for example, plumbers near me is a good keyword to target as it gets 14,800 searches per month. Similarly, emergency plumber near me, emergency plumber, plumbing services near me, and so on are all good keywords to target because of their high search volume and high buying intent. Second is the competition column. It tells us the level of competition on each keyword. If the competition is high on a particular keyword, that means a lot of businesses are targeting that keyword and want their ad to show up whenever someone searches for that particular keyword. Then we have top of page bid, low range. Now this shows you the minimum amount that you can expect to pay when you target a keyword. And similarly, top of the page bid, high range, will show you the maximum amount you can be charged for the same keyword. So for Plumber near me, the competition is low and the bid range is from £4.73 to around £15. But for the keyword Emergency Plumber near me, the competition is medium and the bid range increases to between £9.50 and £21.78. This is the correlation between competition and bid range. If the competition is low, the bid range amount will be low. And if the competition is medium or high, the bid range amount also increases. The ad impression column is blank because this only shows up when you're running an actual ad campaign using these keywords. This is a dummy account for this video. The column isn't gonna show anything. But when you run an ad campaign, it will show you the amount of impression a keyword is getting. Now let's filter out the keywords that are not related to the services we provide. We have 544 keywords, so let's reduce that to a workable amount. So click on add filter and select keyword. Now change it to does not contain and start adding words like merchants, DIY, price, charges, tools, products, jobs, etc. Now Google will remove all keywords and terms like these. We do this because people searching for keywords like plumbing jobs and plumbing charges are just gathering information, so we don't want to show up for such keywords. Now you can also change it to contains and put in terms like near me, emergency, London, and then Google will show you all the keywords that have these terms in them. And as you can see, these are all great keywords to target. If someone is searching for an emergency plumber near me, they are at the buying phase and will certainly hire a plumber. Your chances of getting a paying customer from targeting keywords like this are really high. Now, another way to filter keywords is to click on refine keywords and you'll see this menu pop up. Now you can start filtering keywords from here as well. So the first filter option is brand or non-brand. When we click on it, there are all these companies and businesses such as Central Plumbing, Premier Plumbing, Anderson Plumbing, and many more. 
You can see each business has two or three keywords associated with them. Now we want to remove all these keywords because if someone is searching for Anderson Plumbing, they will not click on our ad. Because, well, we're not Anderson Plumbing. You're not that guy, pal, trust me. You're not that guy. Do the same thing with other brands. You want to remove all the options. Now with the services, you want to remove the keywords of services you don't offer. So for example, if you don't offer bathroom plumbing, you can remove it. If you don't provide commercial plumbing, you can get rid of that as well. So go through the services and keep the ones that you offer, then remove the rest. Same here with utility. If you offer plumbing services for water and gas and not for sewer, then remove it. By doing this, it will drastically cut down on your amount of keywords to a more manageable size. Now that we've got all these keyword ideas, how do we select the right ones for our ad campaign? So now you want to go through the filtered keyword ideas and select ones you think have high buying intent for the services you provide. For instance, keywords like emergency plumber near me or emergency plumber are all good keywords to target. For your first campaign, make a list of 20 to 30 keywords. Once you start seeing some activity on your ads, you can come back, see the analytics and pause the keywords that aren't converting, then add a few more that you think will do well. You need to keep monitoring and optimizing your keywords to get the best returns on your investment and the lowest cost per lead. Now that you've filtered and selected the keywords for your campaign, all you have to do is put these keywords into the campaign itself. So click on keywords, change it to phrase match, and then click copy. Now go into your campaign and paste these keywords. The reason why we selected phrase match is because we want our ads to appear for searches that include our selected keyword phrase or close variations of our keyword phrases. Leave these ads running for at least 10 days, then check over the performance and start optimizing. And that's it. Thank you for watching until the end. I hope you got a lot out of the video. So our goal here is to help you generate the best quality leads so you can fill out your diary with more customers and grow your business. And that's it from me. And by the way, if lead generation is a problem for you right now, then there's a link in the description that will help you solve that problem in under three minutes. I wanna say a big thank you again for watching this video. If you wanna see more like this, please like and subscribe and also leave a comment in the comment section because we read and respond to all the comments we get. Have a great day. I'll see you on the next one.